Hi there, welcome to another Project HBC tutorial. Tonight we're going to be dealing with side chaining within Pro Tools. So here we have the main Pro Tools window. We've got three audio tracks running here. We've got on the first track we've got our kick drum. On the second track we've got a duplicated kick drum. And on the third track we have our bass. Okay, so what we're going to do is make the bass duck when the kick drum comes in. So, first things first, we need a new auxiliary track. So, that's track new, create a stereo aux input. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bus the kick drum to the aux input so that we get signal from the kick but we don't get any output. So, we just head across to the mix window. Okay. So the output will create a bus, give it the first bus, and the input from the aux to receive that bus. Okay, so now if we solo the kick and hit play, we should get no signal until we solo the aux. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing we want to be doing is creating a compressor on the bass channel. I'm just going to be using the, the basic Waves C1 compressor here. Okay. So what we're going to do here is where it says where where a little key here is, we're just going to the we're just going to put a bus on there, which was the the same bus that we used for the aux. Now we just adjust the threshold down a little bit and then push the ratio up to maybe 2.5 2.55 that's perfect okay so if we mute the other kick drum the duplicate kick drum and mute the aux output what we should get now is the the familiar ducking of a side chain coming from the bass can hear that working now. If we mute the original kick then we should hear it originally and then I'll, I'll cut it off after a few seconds. And that's your very basic side chaining. And that's been another Project HBC tutorial. Stay tuned.